Alright, alright, alright. What's going on everyone? How are you? We are here on a new episode of the Juan Solo Show with your host me, Juan D. Clouser. Uh, this is episode, uh, or John D. Clouser, whichever one you prefer. Episode 234 of this great, wonderful podcast. Uh, what's up? How are you? Uh, salutations. Hope you're doing good, doing swell. What's up? So, oh God, guys, I am... Not gonna lie, I'm a little beat. I'm a little beat up. Uh, you know, living such a hard life over here. Uh, the last two days, I've played 18 holes of golf. Wow. Mm. What can I say? You know. And then I just did. A, a, you know, I did over a little bit over. You know, 1.6 mile walk. It just. You know, I live. I live life a lot differently than you guys do, okay? I'm sorry. That's the one yawn I needed. I just needed a yawn to get the shit going. So, yeah, I, yeah, I, uh, yesterday I played 100, today I played 92. So it's just basically the same shit, and I can't believe I pay money to do this. <laughs> Sometimes it's just like, ugh. But my, my, my wet shots got way better today. My drives were amazing. Uh, I, I I did my, my my hybrids were great. Putting was awful because the uh, place I put at was um, I mean the place I played at the greens like the right by the hole is not that great. But what can you do? That was that was a lot of dead silence, just because you know I'm just tired, man. Uh, yeah, I don't know what, what what do we got, what do we have here to talk about today? Uh, yeah, I, what I just wanted to, so I just felt bad, felt guilty because I've uh literally just I've done golf the last two days, so I'm like I, I have to do something. I I got my writing in the last two days though, but I'm like I I needed if I do my podcast tonight, I don't have to do it tomorrow. I could just edit tomorrow and I just feel guilty because it's like, John, you, you can't have too much fun without having a little bit of work. And this is not really work. This is just something you sh I should do, something I sh I'm doing, something I, 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 I've been doing. It's a life, man. It's just a weird life. Just tiresome. You know, just we, we live here. We live uh, awesome. Like, and uh, so... Let's see, um, things to talk about today. Oh, guys, so I've been seeing a lot of videos. You know, okay, so there's these things called, let's Google that. They're called, like, those little, like, wireless, wireless microphones. Wait, I got a screen record, you know? So, microphones, wire cords. Uh, let's, okay. So, these little fuckers, right? So, let's go to, let's go to images. So, these little fuckheads. I don't understand. Clip on. Yeah, let's do clip on. So, these little things, like things like this, like that. Like that. This is really what I'm talking about. Something like this. I don't understand why you guys want to hold them. You see there's a little clip on it. That clip is meant to be put on your, your shirt. Almost like this. See how like this microphone is just, it's still, it's just there. It doesn't, there's no moving around. And then you guys try to do stuff. People try, they try to do these videos and it's, they're talking with this little fucking microphone and then they're doing all these movements, but like they only have one hand. It's like, you fucking turds, you fucking morons. Why can't you just clip it on, clip it on your shirt and that's all you got to do. That's it. That's it's so simple. It's easy. It's annoying as hell because it's like, I keep seeing the same couple videos and like they're reviewing a, a laptop. And they had a little clip on thing, but they won't clip it on their clothes. And I'm just, and they're trying to like move the, the, the thing around and it's like hitting against it. And I'm just like, oh, you. F and I know I went to school for this, but 
There's a reason why. Do you, do you not even think about like why there's a little clip on it? Do you not think about like why, or do you just think that's like such a secondary thing? The reason why it's made, it's made simply for a clip. It's so you could clip it on like right here. I could clip it right on my shirt, right there, and then I, I could just move around. I could talk. I'm like, hey, how are you guys? We're just we're here. We're just doing a thing. And Lola's down here, fucking destroying shit. Hi, hi, sweetie. She's such a good dog. Uh, but yeah, it's just one of those things in this world, man. It's just like crazy. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Um, but yeah, so. <laughs> well, we're almost like six minutes into the show. Should we Should we just go ahead and do the video of the week, guys? Should we do the video of the week? Okay, let's do it. If I could be a woman, my body would be stunning. If I could be a woman, my body would be stunning. It would be steamy. Fiery, and I would probably weigh a hundred pounds. It would be steamy, fiery, and I'll probably weigh a hundred pounds. I would be six foot and have a B cup. I would be six foot and I'll probably have a B cup. My name is William and I like to wear dresses. Welcome to the John Show with your host, John Doogie Clouser. So some people might be like, oh my God, John, why would you show a video like that? One, because it makes you feel uncomfortable. Because two, that's things like we want, we want things to be normalized, right? For things to be normalized, you have to be able to make fun of it. Everyone has to be in the same group. Everyone has to be able to understand like at any time, if you say something smart ass, you're going to get a response back. And that's the thing. It's, like, it's almost like, you know how you see these groups of people who get upset when you don't use the right pronouns, you don't use like the right verbology for something. And, and the thing is, like you can't be justified and you can't be like, and then you'll also be the one that's like, st like striking down on people, controlling like how people talk or how like things are made. It's like, that's not how that works. You can't be both sides. Uh, dude, look at that tan line. Um, but it's just, you can't play both sides because it, that's not how it works. You can't. Do you guys hear that? <laughs> so upset. But you, it, it's just, it's it's upsetting. And so like the things you like, the best part of it, like when everything is made fun of and like everything can be just made fun of, and everyone could just be a f like a, like funny about things and like that's how everything is just normal and, and then we we don't have these things like racism and we don't have things like making fun of like people because they're a woman or because like they're just dis disabled in a certain way hey <laughs> she's <laughs> she never does this stuff and she's doing it tonight right now at this time why are you doing this Oh man, everything's going off. You guys hear that stuff? All right. Anyway, so yeah, that it's it's just so wild to me. But I, I thought that I thought that video is hilarious because one, it's just funny, and then two, it's like funny because it's different. And you might be like, why is it different? Like, what's different? Like, let's be real. You know why? You know why? You know why? But anyway, so let's. Uh, I guess what we can do is get into. Uh, one of the little segments of this podcast. So we have this thing called Craigslist, right? If you're not familiar with it, it's Craigslist. Craigslist misconnections. So Craigslist is a website you can go to. You can buy couches, get couches for free. Sometimes you can find a roommate. Uh, what? What else? You can like, you can find like a like a ping pong table. <laughs> it's just random shit. So we what we do is, and there's this thing on it called misconnections. Uh, so we're going to go on there and what happens is like, I guess someone has an interaction with someone else and instead of like asking for their phone number or instead of like just, you know, being a normal human and trying to interact with them, then they go on this website and they think that the other person is going to go on there too, too. And you know, anyway, and if they do, I like, or maybe they might listen to my show and maybe this is the way we can reconnect two people. So here's the first one. Let's open this link. Oh, that one has been deleted. <laughs> See, that's the thing. Is you, you have to make multiple. You have to like, have multiple ones. I bet this one has been deleted, too. Let's just go. You know what we're just going to do? We're going to go on just Craigslist right now. 
Craigslist misconnections. See, this is the thing that sucks because they, sometimes they're fake, sometimes they're not real. I don't know why. They, sometimes they just they get uh, taken down. Um, stuck in a oh, stuck in a spider web. Okay, this could be a good one. Stuck in a spider web. Cameron, Cameron, Missouri. We met at the Walmart in Cameron, Missouri, on Thanksgiving a few years back. I lost your number, and I like to get. I would like to get together again. I really hope to. I hope really hope you see this. See now, I can understand now this one because they had their number and I lost it. Okay, I, you know, at that point, I would think you'd have like Facebook. You would have ways of like contacting this person, knowing this person's name because you know them for years. Why would you not just like connect with them that way? But who am I? Who am I? Right? Who who am I? Call a do no. Uh, gray Nissan Altima, gray Nissan Altima Independence, beautiful sandy blonde driving down S Sterling. We exchanged a few looks and I felt a total connection. Please reach out to me. Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. There was no connection. She was probably making sure that she didn't like, if she had to go into the next lane that she didn't hit you or she was making sure that you didn't hit her because you almost hit her. I guarantee you that's what it is. There is no connection there, buddy. There's none. Not one. I am a little bit. Um, never tear us apart. I think we, we did that last week. Quick trip. Uh, trying to find him. Okay, we can do that. Trying to find him. Broken Arrow. No idea. Broken Arrow. That's going to be in can't Tulsa. Tulsa, okay. Broken Arrow. Uh, trying to find him, Broken Arrow. I'm looking for a guy who I used to get together with for some guy time. I would always help you out whenever you needed it. Just need to reconnect since we lost connect. Since we lost connect. Wild, okay. Cool, all right, all right. Uh, let's, uh, you live in you live in Barnhart. <laughs> You live in Barnhart. Barnhart. Where is Barnhart? Let's look this up. This is uh, Tulsa, St. Louis. It's like the St. Louis area, so it's in Missouri. It's just on the other. So I live on Kansas City, and St. Louis is on the other side of the state, and it's like south of St. Louis a little bit. Okay. You live in Barnhart. Barnhart. Hello. I am looking for a W that is looking for a man, for an M. I'm assuming man. My name is Ryan Way. Okay. Um, Ryan. I'm not going to say his last name. Add me on Facebook if you're serious about getting an acquaintance. We are going to copy his name right now, and we are going to go on Facebook, and we are going to look him up right now. Um, okay. Um, okay, people. Uh, there's a baseball player. Yeah, it's a little, that's a kid. We are not going to show that. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, interesting. Okay. Well, we don't need to know that. Okay. Anyway, moving on. <clears throat> you live in the Chestnut Apartments. Okay. You live in the Chestnut Apartments, Springdale. Uh, Springdale, Missouri, I'm assuming. Springfield, Arkansas. Okay, Springfield, Arkansas. Okay, I used to come over and see you, but lost contact. You are a woman, and I drove a tow truck. If it helps you, if it helps you remember. <laughs> Great. I just love these. These are so much fun just to read. It's just such a fun thing to do. Uh, looking for a W H J. White. Okay. Oh, okay. I see. Looking for a W H J. Uh, Lafayette, uh, Lafayetteville looking for, looking for Hayward last blah, 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 uh, in the NWA area need been missing for over a year. <laughs> okay. That's kind of sad. All right. Okay. Let's meet up and get drinks. Um, no, let's do, let's try to find a good one for the last one. Cause you know, you, you kind of yeah, looking for Elia cooking a conversation, looking for her jogging. <laughs> Higginsville McDonald's Higginsville McDonald's Higginsville I'm going to assume Higginsville Missouri 
Yeah, Higginsville, Missouri, because Higginsville is like right outside of Kansas City. It's on the eastern side of the state. It's uh in between, it's in between St. Louis and Kansas City, but close, like only forty minutes outside of Kansas City. Not even forty minutes, probably more like I'd say probably twenty five. Uh, it's a suburb, uh, one of the country suburbs esque. Because the more east you start going, the more country it starts getting until you get to uh, St. Louis. Anyway. You, uh, you showed Maine and backed up CO2 tanks location. I wanted to talk to you, but your manager came over and interrupted. Leave me your number. All right. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> wild stuff. Wild, wild, wild stuff. Um, yeah. So with that, you guys want to do some uh, what? So should we do some videos of the week? All right, let's do some videos of the week. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, so I found this guy on fa on Instagram, and it's absolutely disgusting because I'm like, I don't know if like he has like if something happened to him or this is he all on his own because he did a bunch of drugs uh this one is one that makes me sad uh you know how that that first video probably made you sad yeah that video didn't make me sad this video makes me sad because i'm just like Ugh. i'm just like Ugh. but like look at that tan line look, look how violent that tan line is you know it's just a golf thing you you guys just you know would not understand at all it's okay though uh all right here's the next video this is very important listen up everyone so I want to talk today about the elephant in the room that women don't like talking about, but we all think about having a bulge. Um, having a bulge doesn't magically make you a man. Having a bulge doesn't negate your womanhood. Um, a lot of us women still have our bits and pieces and that's okay. Um, so I think we really need to start changing the language and discourse around this issue um, and start normalizing it. Bye, everyone. Yeah, so I can have a bulge, and I'm still a woman. Well, I know I'm a woman. I have my period. That's why, like, even though I'm not, like, biologically a female, and I wasn't born a female, but now I associate myself as a female, I have periods. As soon as I say that, I start having periods. It's just how it works. I don't make the rules. I just follow them. That's all it is. I just follow these rules. These are just part of the system. I, it's just what I... What, hey, don't, don't judge me. Don't judge me because you don't understand something, okay? Just because it makes you feel uncomfortable because I have... How do you think I feel? How do you think I feel when I have my period? You think you think it's comfortable for me? No, but I'm a woman, uh, and I associate myself as one. So I so I have periods. Sorry, I am sorry that makes you feel uncomfortable. <coughs> There's one person who's like, I'm glad that he I or no, I'm glad that she can can uh can express herself that way <laughs> this next one's really fucking hilarious but uh if you if you're listening to audio i don't know why you would or won't watch this anyway uh you are um you're gonna miss out on a lot of this <laughs> stuff um she's freaking out she's having zoomies right now uh so what's funny about this thing is like this guy if you can't tell he's doing this on top of a stove so you know when you stove heat and then hotter air rises so what it does is going to cause like more of a pressure system so you can um so when you push, you can actually literally push the air and make it move. 
Hey. You're doing you're doing a lot. <laughs> she's such a she's such a turd. She's such a turd, but yeah, that's all he's doing. It's hilarious. And if you saw at the very end, he burned himself a little bit. Oh, this next one's great. This next one's a good video. Honestly, that little kid, great control. Awesome control on that on that shot. Wait a second, Lola. All right, all right, and here's the last one. I don't know, I feel like, I don't know if I played this or not, but it was still on my phone, and normally that's the indication if it's still on my phone. I haven't used it for a podcast, or I haven't uh, posted online. All right, well, here you go. You give a young lady wanting to become president of the United States. <laughs> well, I hope we do have a young lady at some point become president of the United States. Uh, I can tell you how I think it will happen, because it won't happen in the uh, normal course of events. Either the Republican or Democrat political party will nominate a man for president and a woman for vice president. And the woman and man will win. So you'll end up with a, a president, a male, and a vice president, a female. And in that term of office of the president, the president will die and the woman will become president under the law or constitution. And once that barrier is broken, from then on, men better be careful because they'll have a hard, hard time ever even getting a nomination in the future. But that's the way it's going to happen. Might just be happening that way. There's a conspiracy theory. And that is a great... Ladies and gentlemen, that's a great segue into our next segment. So uh, this week's conspiracy theory corner. Let's look at conspiracy theories. What you guys want to look at? We can do outer space conspiracy theories. We can do sp sports. Let's do a sports. Let's do like a little bit more easier. Okay, so box conspiracy theory. Um. Oh, the frozen envelope conspiracy. Oh, our th uh, theory. Theory. Suggesting that National Basketball Association, the NBA, rigged the 1985 draft lottery. This was because, so they were, <clears throat> that was the year that uh, Patrick Ewing was coming out of the uh, Georgetown. And he was supposed to, like, the big thing is, like, they wanted him to go to, like, New York, I believe, because... Uh, it was going to be a good because that was a good market and, and like the thing is that like, he went there and he never won we never he, he I never he never won a championship I'm pretty sure he never won a championship with New York I don't think he ever won a championship anyway but let's see how it is uh, Patrick Uni would join the New York Knicks uh, uh, theorists claimed that the lottery envelope was chilled uh, so that it could be identified by touch uh, a similar hot ball theory uh, theory uh, I didn't know about the hot ball theory. Uh, promoted by Scottish football manager David Moyes, suggested that the certain ball use draw for the UEFA and the AFC uh, competition have been warmed to activate a specific outcome. Huh, that's interesting. I did not know that one. I did not know. Um, but yeah, because it was supposed to be... Because like they... Because so... In the NBA, how it works is if you are on the lower tier teams, you are in a draft pick to see who are going to pick first. And so New York was bad, and they wanted them to be good. So if they had Patrick Ewing go there, it's a good market, and it's a good way to make money. And so uh, when David Stern reached in and grabbed the envelope saying that New York would be the number one draft, would have the number one draft pick, uh, it was identified as being chilled just very interesting i think it's uh very cool 
Um, but anyway, yeah, I thought that was a cool conspiracy, th- I, you know, conspiracy the 98, uh, firecracker 400. I didn't know. I don't know this one. So let's le- we're going to learn something interesting. Oh, right. Oh, right. Oh, right. Oh, right. In the 1984 c- firecracker 400 at Daytona International Speedway in Daytona, Florida was the first NASCAR race to be attended by a seating U.S. President Ronald Reagan and the driver, uh, Richard Petty, 200 and final career victory. Uh, rival driver uh, Cal Yoy Bronze uh, pre uh, premature uh, retirement to the pit road was promote uh, promotes conspiracy theory to allege that the organization fixed the race in order to receive a good uh, publicity for the event. I I just I just yeah. <laughs> Because that'd be something super easy to like do. Because they, the reason why that one's actually easy to believe is because in they just did it this this, this season in F one, there was two guys on the same team, and one of them was like, "Hey, we want the other guy to win because it helps with points if they both get points." But because of how the guy who's in first place has more points than the guy who is in second place, but the guy in second place goes ahead and gets first place. Um, then what it does, it helps with the point system, and then like each player will be higher in points. Instead of one being like thirty-two, they're both going to be like thirty, or t- one's going to be twenty-seven, one's going to be twenty-eight points, something like that. But I think if they finish second and third. I think that's how it was. They, yeah, it wasn't first place, but yeah, there's conspiracy. Yeah, that could definitely be a conspiracy theory. I definitely could believe in that one. That one, that one definitely makes sense. Definitely. Okay, so let's see here. Oh, that was kind of long. We'll kind of we'll save. You know, that's kind of cool. I guess uh, that that was a uh, that was a uh, conspiracy theories um, corner of this podcast. But uh, yeah, I guess like that's basically it. Oh man, I did it, guys! I I made it all the way through to the end of this podcast. I guess if you got it this far, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Uh. I'm going to play golf on Sunday. Oh, so strong, like a man. Uh, it, it's so much fun. It, uh, uh, like I say, find a hobby. Find something that makes you happy, that can bring happiness to you, bring happiness to your life. And then it can possibly, like, bring, that's going to bring more positivity to other parts of your life. And it's going to bring some discipline because, like I tell you, you can't just turn that, dis- you can't turn that discipline on and off. It has to be like something that is like a continuous grind over and 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 over again. Uh, but that's my what's what's his name, Mister Rogers. Um, that's my Mister Rogers moment of the week. Just yeah, find something fun that that you like, and then you can have fun with doing it all the time. Uh, but yeah, be safe, be happy, look both ways, wash your hands. Yeah, be be just 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 try to be happy. Be happy. All right. Well, anyway, I'll talk to you guys on the next episode. Oh, how funny it would be if I didn't like have the recorder recording this entire time. I'd be like, God damn it. All right. Well, I'll see you guys on the next episode. All right. Bye. <laughs>